All right, I'm back. Just like the dude said on the internet. Um, this has a screw. This is a little clip. There's one in the back here. It's got one back there too. You gotta take that out in order to be able to wiggle this motor out, okay? Now the reason why I'm doing this is because all of a sudden my fucking washing machine decided to not spin. I noticed that the agitation was, you know, bad for a while. And yes, of course, me and the children, we load that shit up. Okay, it's two tubes. This one right here, which I took behind this brace. And then there's another one right there. And I, I, I took that out first. That's where the two tubes connect to. I left that one there because that um, lets me know which tube and which bracket goes where. Of course, being me, the other one's on the bottom. And unfortunately, if the shit happened to you like it happened to me in the middle of washing clothes, you may have to watch out for a little bit of water. But that ain't gonna kill you as long as you got that shit unplugged. Do that first, I suggest. And I don't like laying on the floor, so I got myself a crate to sit on and I put an old one of those under my washing machine to hold it up. I ain't, you know, I'm a fat dude, so I wasn't laying on the floor. But anyway, that's the screw in the back that we gonna take out to hold the other bracket so that I can remove this motor. Because from where I sit, I don't see no motherfucking coupler. Okay? I'm not opening up no motor. So, the motor is bad. I had to get another motor, but I ain't get ready to buy another washing machine. Alright, this is Emacs Cleveland, and we getting ready to hood this washing machine repair. I'll be back in a minute.